Good evening, my friends. How are you guys doing? It's been a very long time since I have gotten in front of the camera. And, well, I finally made it to my new house here in Sandia, Texas. And if you have not yet already, please do so and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And my name is Jeremy McGuire. And make sure you give this video a like and this will be a room tour of my new bedroom. Let's get the video started. So we are right at my bedroom door. No, I'm upstairs. This is a two-story house. So when you walk in my bedroom, my bathroom will be right here on the right. I have a bathtub shower combo. I have a fancy shower head if y'all can see that. Here's my vanity sink. And plus I really like this uh, hanger here so I can hang my towel and I've got my swim shorts in here as well so I know where they are and I have a swimming pool and and my house is right off the Lake Corpus Christi if y'all know where that is and so once you leave the bathroom this is the main room right here so I have this uh, side table that was right beside my bed in my old room I got the good book that Mamma and Popo McGuire gave to me back in 06 and I give them a shout out oh Popo McGuire is in heaven with uh, Popo Brian now with the Lord and looking down on upon us and this is my bed here it's a uh, double bed and over here I have my dresser my radio now uh, I can pick up uh, this country station called KFTX Real Country. It's on 97.5. Well, so once I had brought the stereo from Santa Fe down here, or down here from Santa Fe, and uh, I wasn't able to uh, pick it up that well, And so, what I had to do, I had to get a, a Frito bean dip can, ate the bean dip. Then after I got through eating the bean dip chips, I had to wash out the can very good. Had to cut a hole in the lid and as well the side of the can I got this wire and another wire tied and now 
I can actually pick up radio stations now. So I'm in that part of the area that this radio has a hard time picking up stations. But now I finally found the sweet spot for this radio to be able to pick up stations now. So I'm good to go. So now enough of that. So over here, as you do see, I have my TV. Well, this is a, a Magnavox. 32 inch that the previous owner gave to me and it's actually mounted on the wall <laughs> and as y'all do see there it's mounted and I have a shelf as well it has these hooks that I have my hats hanging on got my eight second clone that uh, bought at uh, Boot Barn in Angleton, uh, not Angleton, it was uh, Lake Jackson where I bought the clone. And this is my recliner that my grandpa had. And, you know, it's very comfortable. I got these two cup holders. Uh, you can adjust the headrest. And when you raise this armrest up you will have a 110 outlet and you will have a USB port and now uh, there is a USB port as well on the control switch it's in between the two switches there so you can have two places to plug in your iPhone into so you will not have to worry about that and plus I have my closet right here I got uh, Vans shoes I bought at Tanger Outlet several months ago. And these are my light switches right here but uh, this one here controls the uh, fan and the light and one thing really neat that's in some rooms of the house including in the hallway is these plugs here have uh, built-in LED lights and that's really beneficial for me because if I have to get up in the middle of the night to use a bathroom or you know you know if you gotta get up in the middle of the night I can see where I'm at and plus, I got another night light that I brought with me from Santa Fe and plugged it right here because this plug here don't have it. Lights built on or in the 
plug outlet so I had to do that too so I can have a light to to eliminate this part of the room so I can see where the bathroom is and I have DirecTV, the Genie 2 system. It's amazing. And I can record shows that I like. And plus I got my Xbox right there underneath the TV. And the Genie Mini Client is sitting on top of the Xbox. So, sounds like I got it made. Tell me what y'all think. And, remember, God loves you, and I love you with all my heart. And the Lord wants us to be thankful for for what we have. And, you know, because some people are not the, you know, some people are not that fortunate. And lucky like we are because they might not have a warm place to stay or have a meal that we all take for granted so we just gotta be thankful that we thank God because he bestowed many blessings upon us and you know died for us on the cross of Calvary and you know the Lord wants us to show love and kindness it doesn't matter uh, during the holiday season he wants us to do that all the time throughout the year so I just want to let you all know that so just be very thankful for what you have and what you don't have. And giving you a hug. And I love you all so very much. And I will be filming another video and it's going to be coming sometime soon after Thanksgiving. All right. God bless and happy Thanksgiving. And eat a lot of turkey. <laughs>